Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy, Nooney. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another week. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy, Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking the question. Well, it's not really going to, well, that's a question, but it's not a question. So it's going to be no contact, right? What are their feelings? What are their next actions? All right. So I want to put that in there. And that's about it. You know what I mean? Maybe I could have separated that, made that two separate readings, like no contact, their next actions. No contact. What are their feelings? But me, I really like, I don't like to beat around the bush. Like, if that's too much. Just, just bring the shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, you know, that's a rant. So, uh, as always, thanks to those people who be liking, sharing, subscribing. Thanks to those people who booked those personal readings. Appreciate you very much. Thanks to those people who donated. Thank you. Thank you. Always. Um, just thanks to those people who just be here, you know, on the journey. You know, being here with me, watching me enjoy myself, having a ball, amazing myself, and hopefully amazing y'all, because it really do be amazing. <laughs> um, I think that is it uh, for now. That's going to be it. So I got four piles. Can you see them? All right, it's going to be a picture that's going to come through. For all those people who do not know, if you're new to pick a cards, you do not have to watch the whole reading. In my description box, the timestamps are there. You just click that little arrow, scroll up until you see it says timestamps, then pick your pile, and voila, you'll hear, boom, this is your pile. So, I'm kind of excited about this because I don't know how this is going to play out, and then I'll be wondering, like, well, who am I and not? Well, you know, of course, past people I'm not in contact with, but, like, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of curious to see how this will play out because I've been seeing people do no contacts, and I'm like, oh. That's how they feel. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so I want to see if that happens again on this one. So, you know, yeah. So I'm about to give you that picture and then you can pick your pile. But look at there. This will be pile one. This will be pile two. This will be pile three. This will be pile four. All right. So take a second and I'm going to show you the picture. Boom, pile one. So, pile one. What are their thoughts? What are their feelings? What are their feelings and their next actions? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's do a little bit like that. Okay, like that. That'll make me feel better. Oh. Oh. Okay, so they didn't feel good enough, or maybe you made them feel good enough. This is what I'm going to say first, because the first card out is uh, Aries energy. So this person is mad, all right, and they're working through those feelings of frustration, all right. Um, what are the signs we have? Okay, so we have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a Leo. So we have two Leos, one Sagittarius, one Leo. Uh, no, God dang. So we have, what is the wheel? The wheel of fortune and then the world. So we have fixed signs twice. All right, so we have three Leos, two Tauruses, two Aquariuses, two uh, Scorpios. Then we have a Virgo. We have uh, a Sagittarius, two Aries, another Virgo over here and a Cancer. All right, this could be your sign. This could be their sign. This could just be the energy that they're in, okay? So this person does have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. We got cancer energy here. This person is a loyal person. And loyal, you know, everybody has, I, I like to think that, <laughs> I like to think that everybody has their own definition of loyalty, all right? So let's just say that, right? Um, but this is a wise person. This, uh, so again, I thought I just seen, I can see you clearly. Now, it doesn't say that though. It says, you can see clearly so this person can see you more clearly so this is someone who 
maybe you guys had a discrepancy or had an issue in the past, but now they can see you more clearly. So maybe they, maybe you know how you do a transformation and people are used to you being a certain way and then you become somebody else and you, or, or you like grow into who you're meant to become or you grow from whatever that situation was or grow from that friendship job, whatever, wherever it was, you grow, you become a new person and you, you start activating new behaviors, new ways of thinking, new ways of speaking and feeling. And so this person is kind of like feeling like, you know, you left them out in the cold. This is a person who feels like, like, uh, like maybe either you expose their shadow side or they feel like they want to speak a truth to you that may be a little darker, you know what I mean? And they're, in their opinion, they feel like they've awoken. So that's what it is. It's like an illumination to their shadow side. Cause we got shadow and we have truth. All right. So they're acknowledging their shadow side. All right. This person doesn't really feel good enough though, so they're very critical of themselves. Um, they're trying to step outside their comfort zone and I'm guessing the comfort zone is them expressing emotions. Because this person, when work through your feelings shows up, this means that someone's trying to play it cool and they don't really know how to process their feelings. So they're trying to like slow it down for a second so that they can feel their feelings and understand why they're feeling the way they're feeling. You know what I mean? So they're gonna probably, if, if, cause this is, that, that card is actually a sign of like movement so it means that somebody is going to make a move um, and it's going to be like they're going to have to find a way to like do it gently. So that probably is why they because I don't really see slow energy, but I see more passionate, fiery energy right? because they're going to be coming in with, you know, I want to say communication. They're definitely going to be coming back in like they're going to be taking a chance here. You know, this could be a slippery. I like to say slippery person because I see a lot of slippery animals like a like a. Uh, an octopus, a whale, a, 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 what's it called? A turtle and a, um, a penguin. You know, these are like slippery animals. All right. So this could be a slippery person. Um, but they, they, they've had an awakening though. So they see you more clearly now. All right. And so it's taking some time to integrate the old them or the old you to the new you. So like they're used to seeing you a certain way. Now they're seeing you this way and it's taking them some time to do that. But they see you more clearly now because that's what that that's what these cards are giving me. All right. It says, take it slow. Your heart is accident prone. So this person is, is taking it slow. Like they're they're still raw, maybe from whatever you guys had before. And so they're oh, OK. So they're trying to. Oh, so this person feels like their their integrity, their morals and their manners were like exposed. OK, because it says there are some things money can't buy, like manners, morals and integrity. And it's right under shadow and the shadow is about your hidden elements, your hidden aspects, behaviors and traits and thoughts and patterns that you don't want uh, revealed or you try to suppress, you know, or you try not to acknowledge or face. And so that's that like they have. So there's a shadow. So they feel like you did that, like you exposed some type of shadow that they have where maybe they're lacking integrity, lacking manners or lacking morals, something like that but they feel like you taught them something. They felt like you taught them from your experiences or that your experience with them has taught them something. All right. This is a person who could be very protective, very nurturing. Um, depends on what you call nurturing. Nurturing can just be like hitting you up, making sure that you eat, you know, or dropping off medicine or, um, you know, filling up your gas tank or something like, you know, like things that can take care of you from an emotional standpoint. So if you're not worried about it, you won't be stressed. So there's that type of energy. All right. They're probably a person maybe who does physical manifestations, like physical work for you, physical labor, because you got Aries energy out first with cancer and Virgo. So this is a person who's going to be of service. So they do something physical for you of service. You know, this could be anything. This could be filling out applications or whatever. It's, it's anything like that. All right. So they do some type of service for you. And so they're, they're trying to step outside their comfort zone. So they feel or they feel like you stepped outside your comfort zone. It's one of those two. Either they feel like you did it or they're trying to. And if they're trying to, it's because they want to be more emotionally expressive and get emotionally deep with you. So they want to connect more on an emotional level with you. All right. This is a person who's afraid that you either discover their uh, that you discover the truth of their shadow side or that they want to speak a truth and they feel like it's shady. OK. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to present you with some opportunities. It's going to be a, the will of fortune is here. So this means there's going to be an opportunity here. All right. This could be a brand new beginning because we got the world here too. And they're in upright 
and an ace of, ace of swords. So there's going to be communication. Right? There's going to be a truth that's spoken or at least some type of clarity that is given. All right, and this could be a brand new change. This, could, this is definitely going to be a brand new change because the world is here. And this is going to be a pivotal moment because this is two major arcanas in this spread for me. And then we have a doorway here. So this is going to be a pivotal moment. This is going to be a, what do I call it? It's an in-between. It's like a bridge. All right, or maybe even a priest treaty, you know, because this person wants to be able to express emotions with you. All right. They feel like maybe they see you now from a higher level or see the all situation now from a higher level. You know, they're ready for some type of brand new beginning, new outlook on life with you or some type of new outlook. And it's probably because they see you differently. So now they're ready for a new outlook. Like, OK, I get who you are now. So let me treat you as such. Because that's what they're going to do. King of Wands is, is an optimistic type of person and he's upright. So he's a guy who can be he's a great catch. but He's also someone who could be a great mentor. Um, a great coach, um, a great strategist. Well, strategist would be more like a king of swords. But the king of wands, he does have so he does have uh, air in him, so he could be a great strategist, military strategist, um, or just someone who knows how to attack life in a way to make things happen for themselves. They attack it with power, zeal, and optimism, like a lot of self belief. But dealing with you, so this person is going to come in with optimism, but dealing with you made them feel inadequate. So know that. And so they're going to be trying to get outside of their comfort zone, you know, and try to, you know, express some type of emotion or connect with you. All right. It says the distance between us is killing me. So it says the distance between us kills us. So this is their thoughts. All right. Shout out to uh, Good Vibes Tarot for these oracles because they still hit months later. <coughs> anyway, um, this person maybe wants to create some type of foundation with you. Like there's a lot of clarity here. Like they like if there was ever a confusion before about who they thought you were, it's not a confusion now. All right? Cuz all these cards are upright. They're like, "Yeah." You know what I mean? So, they're very clear and they're, and they're very grateful for you and they feel like you were some type of fulfillment to them, maybe a wish fulfillment or you were just some type of feeling of satisfaction that made them feel confident, feel loved, feel secure within themselves. All right? Now, this is a person who's been contemplating this for a while. They feel like you gave up a lot of wisdom or that you showed them a lot of possibilities. You know, so they've done some type of introspection. So that's for sure. So they've sat alone and they sat and they thought and they, you know, and they, they mauled it over and they worked through these feelings and these emotions of like anger, of frustration, of resentment, of like all that. They worked through that of, of like not feeling good enough or feeling, I don't know if Virgo is an abandoned, maybe because sometimes a hermit could be that energy of feeling abandoned when it's in reverse, but this isn't even in reverse. So I don't know if they felt abandoned, but they did feel like they didn't match up to you or they weren't enough for you or something like that. All right. So that's how they're feeling right now. That's their current feelings, but they've gotten some type of clarity about you and they're open to new possibilities with you. They're open to a brand new start, like a fresh slate, like, you know, like none of the stuff that happened in the past has to ever come up again. We can do something totally different. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're really, cause the, cause you know what? The King of Wands can be an innovative person. You know what I mean? Cause that's a source energy and source energy can represent Aquarius sometimes. So they can be an innovative person. So they're probably looking to do something different with you than they've ever done before. And in, in y'all dynamic, at least not, maybe not different in general in their life, but probably just different with y'all. You know, that's the intention. Cause it's like, they're looking up, like they can see the sun. It's like, Something has happened. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can see this. I'm awakened. An epiphany, like an aha moment. Like, oh. Because that's what the queen, that's what the uh, Ace of Swords is. It's an aha moment. So they're like, ah, I see something. Light bulb. You know what I mean? So that's that's what it is here. And they're, they've awoken. That's really all this is about. It's like, oh, they suddenly awoken. Like, we need to do this differently in another way. And let's start this all over again. Fresh slate, clean slate. Let's do this. Like, let's, let's be innovative. Let's be creative. Let's find, let's, like, let's go after this. If we're really passionate, like if we're going to start new, let's, let's be for sure. Let's, let's really do this. You know what I mean? So it's that like they're excited and they really want to, and they're very confident about this and they feel comfortable with you because cancer energy is here. That's a feeling of home. Whenever I see cancer energy is a feeling of home. So there's at least a feeling of comfort. Like they know you, you know, of course there's no contact. So you have to know them. Right? So that's that. It's a feeling of comfort and they want to express some emotions, you know, but yeah, 
what is it? What I got? Ace of Cups. So they definitely want to express some emotions. All right. They, they probably want to express their gratitude for you or how you made them feel fulfilled, you know, or how you made them feel happy, loved, cared for, secure, something like that. They want to express a feeling of emotion with you. And it can just be like, yo, I missed you. You know what I mean? Like it could be like that, but it's going to be like very clear, very direct. You're going to know. You're like, oh, okay, great. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're going to say it like that. That's, that's how I be saying it. I say stuff like that all the time. Oh, okay, great, great, great. I miss you too. You know, I say stuff like that. So I don't know if you do that, you know what I mean? But, you know, I just was throwing it out there. So that's what they want to do. They do want to dive deeper, all right? And they, they do want to, you know, charge up against some type of obstacle because I see a goat here. So they may want to charge up against some type of obstacles. And the obstacles could just be the way that they've seen things because they're seeing things a lot more clearly now, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's all they're going to do. They're going to make some type of action. They're, they're thinking on it right now. That's it. They're contemplating on it. They're doing some deep introspection on themselves. They're really examining themselves because they see you. And now they're thinking about their, their shadow side because that's right in the middle. Like they're focused on their shadow side and they're thinking about their morals, their integrity, and their manners. You know what I mean? Or it could be just one of those three. You know, it doesn't have to be all of those. It could be one of those three. But they're thinking about those things and they're trying to integrate this new version of themselves to match the new version of you. All right. So, um, let's go over these signs one more time because I don't have any advice. All right. I didn't, I didn't pick out any advice this time, but here's your signs. We got Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries. Okay. So, Power One, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy, Nuni, and it's Leo in the third house. Boom. Power Two. So, Power Two, what are their feelings during this no contact? Okay, they got feelings. They're trying to detach from them. I don't think they know if they're real. All right. This could be somebody who runs or was kind of slender. Uh, it could be jogger, runner, um, lighter complexion, maybe even rounder. We got some round roundness here. Okay, so we do have a younger person that could be younger than you. They are athletic, okay, at least that much. It's a person that maybe just part of your friend group or part of a larger society network organization. Um, if, if they're not like part of like a large friend group, cause this is people, part of people who's like helpful to you. All right, but let's go over the signs real quick before I get too far. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have, uh, Aquarius and we have Pisces twice. All right. So this person is going through a transformation. So that's how they're feeling. They're feeling like it's hard though. They feel like they're having a difficulty. They could be struggling with like addictions, sex. They could be dealing with like fantasy or in like that dreamy space of not being able to know what's real because this person is trying not to talk a lot. This could be somebody who you don't talk to a lot. You know, they're trying to feel more. So they're trying to get more into their emotions and see what is needed for the situation. Pisces is usually a, a person who could be overgiver and trying to like be what other people want them to be because of them being a mutable sign. So it's kind of that energy. Now with this, with the Aquarius energy following uh, a mutable energy, this would mean that they're trying to find a way to impede you, but they're kind of stuck being who they are in a sense. It's kind of like, uh, like I can be what you like me to be, or I can, I can, you know, it's like a feeling like I can be what you like me to be, but I'm going to be me. So it's kind of like that. Like, you know what I mean? So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's, it's that type of energy. Like I can be what you want me to be, but I'm going to be me. So they want to do both. This person wants a partnership with you. All right. Um, there's social cut. There's like, they're sort of social, socially conscious. So this is someone who thinks large scale, thinks about a whole, thinks about community. All right. This is a person who, um, they're thinking, of, okay. So they're also thinking about going through some type of portal or doorway with you. So there's a new beginning that they're looking for as well. And surrender to the divine means that they surrender the expectations of how this will play out. All right. Um, love is all around. So this person wants to feel, they want to feel like there's more love. They want to be more loving. They don't want to talk a lot. They want to talk with love. They want to express with love. They want to sing. They want, I'll say sing. They want to sing their song. All right. So they want to sing or be more. They could be a singer. They want to be more, um, more loving and nurturing. All right. 
It says, I regret doing you wrong. This person regrets doing you wrong. They're in a nostalgic feeling. All right. This could be somebody you met this summer or someone who maybe is born in the summer or, well, if it's a Leo, it could be born in the summer. Aries? No, they're not born in the summer. Not Sagittarius either. So they're like a Leo. They could be born in the summer. Um, I mean, they, they would have to be born in the summer. All right. Uh, so there's someone you close a chapter with and you're free to, so yeah. So that's what they feel like. They feel like you close a chapter on them. Okay. And they feel like they need to heal. So this is a person who's, uh, they have like a deep love for you. The feelings is they have a deep love for you. All right. Now this could be an artistic person. They could be a painter. They could be a, a just a creator, content creator, anything. They're creative. You know what I mean? They could just be doing arts and craft around their, around their house. You know, they could be a lawn person who does lawns. They can, creativity is anything that comes from your mind that wasn't originally there. That's a creation. So it really, it's really limitless to what a creator could be. You know what I mean? But they are a person that's going through a transformation and it's difficult. All right. You might have left them in the past. Okay. It says, uh, this person is giving credit. Are you giving yourself credit for taking care of others so protectively? Oh, so they give you credit for taking care of them. They feel like you took care of them, like you protected them. So they're giving you credit for that. So they feel like that. So it doesn't feel like any resentment. Like they're getting over that. You know what I mean? They're getting over that and they're feeling like, um, they're kind of like, they're definitely overthinking this situation, but I feel like, like they're trying to avoid, um, it's like they're trying to avoid maybe a fight or they're trying to avoid some type of misunderstanding because the two of swords. So I'm looking at the seven of swords and it's in reverse. All right. Traditionally, you know, it's usually about a card of valor of success, but also I think of it as, as a uh, avoiding conflict. If you look at it in reverse, he's kind of looking back at it. Like he's kind of like watching his back, watching his step. So it's like avoiding conflict, you know, and it's like looking like, so they're looking back towards the three of wands and the three of wands is upright. So looking back towards the three of wands is like a feeling of optimism. Like if I just be gentle or if I just tiptoe around, maybe I won't cause any fracas or won't cause any stress or any trouble or, you know what I mean? Like this person is regret. They regret for doing you wrong. So they're trying to tiptoe back in, but they want to, they're like trying to like, so it's like, oh, mm, you know what it feels like? Cause I'm like, I feel like I'm on the fence about it. So it's like that. They probably feel like they're on the fence about it. like, it's like I'm coming in, but I'm going out, you know, I'm tiptoeing. So I don't really cause no, no, no ruckus. I don't really want to cause no problems. You know, I'm, I'm hoping for, you know, I'm looking forward to something really good happening here. Like I can see success here with you. I can see something coming. Like I can see our ships coming in. Cause that's what the three of wands is normally traditionally meant. Like your ships coming in, but it's like, I can see something happening here. I can see something formulating here. It could be good. You know what I mean? So they're on that type of thing. Like I know it can be good, but they're like an in and out, you know, because they're like, they're not trying to cause any strife. They're trying to heal themselves. So they're, you know, they're, they're feeling a little bit of sorrow, but there's like, there's like a, uh, they want to, they want to say something though. They want to be more like childish and playful with you. They want to be creative. This person wants to be, they want to patch the situation up. You may have blocked them or they feel blocked. You know what I mean? Like they feel like, like they're, maybe their advances are blocked. You know what I mean? Cause this person really wants to avoid, uh, maybe difficulty, but I was like, they, they want to avoid conflict. Like, you know what I mean? Like they, like <laughs> this person will carry conflict for themselves. So like, if there's something that they may not like, they won't really say nothing. They don't want to say nothing. They don't want to rock the boat. You know what I mean? So that's really what this is. Like, you know, let me just tiptoe around. You know what I mean? Um, this could be a really artsy person or a really fiery, spontaneous type of person. Um, they could be fierce. Like, I think a mama bear. So they could be kind of fierce, like protective. You know what I mean? Like, very protective. You know, uh. But this is someone who you close close something on. They're they're looking. So this person might want to have a child too. Like they might be having feelings of kids, because I see birth as a portal. So they might be wanting to bring someone to this to this universe. They might want you to have children. They might want them to have children if it's a woman. Um, something like this. It could be somebody who's into crystals, because it says crystal here. So it could be somebody who's into crystals. Um, and they may like the beach or water or something like that, because we got the beaches here. All right. Um, 
you know, I'm noticing we got a lot of purple. So this person has good intuition. They have a good intuition. They're very intuitive. And we got Pisces a lot. So this person is very intuitive. All right. So they naturally know what the situation needs. All right. Um, they could have Pisces in their chart. They don't have to. But if they usually if they have Pisces in their chart, they're usually psychic or they usually have great intuitive abilities that they may not necessarily be aware of all the time. Some do. Some don't. You know, it just depends. Um, but they want to do some type of group activities with you or some type of group activity. Could be like creating, painting, art, walking, you know, something. They want to do something creative with you. They want to, you know, like this person is passionate. They want to, they want to message you. They want to say something. I feel like they want to patch, patch a situation up. You know, it's just like, they don't really, they're more curious about how can they make this happen. That's it. Like this person is very curious, very outgoing, very spontaneous, very fiery, very passionate. You know, they could be prone to like lashing out, you know, cause the page of wands, is the person who lashes out. And then you know, later on, he regrets it and comes back like, hey, man, my bad, yo, I didn't mean it, you know. I was just a little upset at the time, you know. Life had been a little hard. That's that's the page of wands. He's that type of guy, you know what I mean? Or that, he's a young guy. So he's just like a teen, maybe early 20s. You know what I mean? I don't know if you ever met those guys who be on the work site who, like, they love their girlfriends really fast. And if you look at them, they'd be ready to fight. And you're like, yo, bro, what's, what's your problem? Like, that's just a look. So they're that type of guy or girl, you know what I mean? You know, not necessarily like... They're like jealous. There's like a feeling of jealousy too, because it's that like they can love you really fast and they could be into you really fast and be like attracted to you really fast. And they are an attractive person. You know, it could be slender, it could be darker, browner, tanner, and then I have a paler skin or white skin or Asian skin, Puerto Rican, something like that. So you do got like a tanner skin body, so they could be darker than you or they could be lighter than you. All right. Um, but they're trying to persevere. This person wants to push for it. They want to go the long run. They are willing to put the time and the effort into this situation. They feel like they've learned something from this and they're trying to recover this, all right? So that's really what it's about. They're just trying to recover this. They have like great expectations of this being something in the future, all right? That's what this is about because the three of wands is like, yeah, I can see this being something in the future and I'm just trying to create it, you know what I mean? Like kind of be creative about how I can make this happen. I want to be real free spirited with you and lighthearted and just have fun and adventures and experiences and you know hopefully we can heal the situation and that's what they're that's what they're feeling about this because they regret doing you wrong and they feel like either they're 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 looking at you uh expanding because the wands can be about expansion or they're looking at you um like looking off into the distance looking for something else looking for new opportunities looking for your ships to come in so it could be one of two things. They could be wanting to, you know, this is their action, but they could just be like tiptoeing away and just going to watch you and wait for your ships to come in and wait for things to happen and play out for you. Or they're going to kind of like tiptoe away in order to like avoid, you know, conflict because they see something good happening here. So it's one of those two things, but I feel like they're still going to message you. So like if they tiptoe away, it's not, it's not forever. Because, you know, this is a minor arcana. Minor arcana could be for a day, could be for two days, could be for a week. It's not long. It's not a long period of time that you probably even remember. It's not nothing like that. You probably won't remember that they're gone for a while because it's a sneaky energy. So it's like you don't really know that they're gone. It's that type of energy. All right. You know, it's like I'm around, but you don't know that I'm around. You know what I mean? So so that's that's what they're on. All right. So, um this could be, like I said, a very protective type of person, mother bearish type of person, father bearish type of person. All right. And they're just feeling real nostalgic and they're wanting to chase that. I want to say like a runner's high. They want to chase that high down again. So it's that. Maybe they get high. You know, I, mean, I don't know. Because sometimes Pisces can be like, you know, an addictive sign. This is a, this is a romantic person, though. Because that's, that's what this is. Like the Knight of I mean, the Page of Wands can be a romantic type of person. He's just very passionate. He feels like he loves everyone right away. Like, oh, I love you. You're beautiful. I want you. You know, we should we should elope today. And then tomorrow he'll be like, oh, uh, well, you didn't say that you weren't gonna cook breakfast every morning. I thought that you know you know he you know he has expectations. So, because he's he's not old enough yet to experience life. So he's one of those people that hurt people kind of fast and not intentional. You know, it's like you know he's very hot headed. So it's not intentional. So he or she, they're very hot-headed, but it's not intentional. They're just trying to discover their emotions. Now, they have a lot of emotions, and maybe they have bound, issues with boundaries and emotions or issues with expressing the emotions, you know what I mean? Because it's like they have a lot of feelings, but they're an attached type of person, so they don't really like to 
express them, but they are persistent. So they're persistent. So I guess that's how they express that they love you is by being persistent. You know, I never looked at things that way, but that's probably what it is. Like they're, they express they love you. <laughs> oh, that's kind of endearing. That's kind of endearing. They express they love you by being persistent. Now, I don't know what your, what your circumstance is because it, it may be too persistent for you. But if I, when I think about it, like persistence to me probably isn't like persistence to everybody else. Persistence to me looks like work. Like I need to have known that you was pushing. You know what I mean? And so that's what this is. You know, this person has love for you. They, you know, they're, they're looking to create some type of accountability for themselves or they want to, they, they, I don't know, they want to they fix the situation. That's for sure, all right? And they regret doing you wrong. So know that, all right? They've, they've been delving in their subconscious because this is Pisces energy. And you know, this is having to do with like their hopes and their wishes. So they have like a dream and a hope and a wish of repairing this, okay? That's what they want. They want that deep love. They have a lot of love for you. It's a lot of love, a lot of love. They want to nurture you, all right? They want to give to you. They probably want to have a baby. And they really want to pursue you. They'll chase you down. So let them do that. <laughs> let, let them do that. If they hurt you, you got to let them show you consistency. Let them show you that they're serious. All right? You know, when people mess up their credit, the bank doesn't just give you money right away. They make you earn it. <laughs> so it's the same way. Make this person earn it. You, know, you don't have to. I'm just saying that it works better when you let them earn it when you make them work for it. You don't have to be hard on them or be a tyrant, you know, or take advantage of them. No, but, you know, coddle them a little bit and then step back, let them do the work. Let them do the work because they're going to learn a lot more from it. Take it from a Capricorn that I know about doing hard work. And when you let people do hard work, they see value in it and they appreciate it and they hold on to it a lot more. Yep. So, Let's go over these signs one more time. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Pisces, and Aquarius. Okay? So, pile two. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Noonie, and this Leo in the third house. Boom. Pile three. Pile three. So, pile three. How are they feeling during this no contact? All right. So, we got Virgo. We got Sagittarius. We got Gemini. Um, oh, something happened here with boundaries. Somebody wants you to lower your boundaries. Okay, so this could be a spiritual person. Because it says, people being led by spirit do not make any sense. Okay. So this could be a spiritual person. So, there was a confrontation here. You guys were uh, having like a push-pull dynamic. All right. This could have been a, a problem of needs because opposition is here having to do with needs. So it could be like an issue of needs. All right. And this could be like a test because opposition does represent like a test, a choice, a decision, like multiple, maybe like multiple decision, but not really just two options. Two choices could have been made here. Now, the way this person is feeling, they want to communicate, but they're uncertain. Okay. This person is healing, but they're struggling. They don't want to really face it. So whatever they had before, they're not really wanting to face it. This could be an intuitive person because we got the third eye here. So they could be kind of psychic, could have you know, intuitive abilities, or they could just be very good at like knowing when things are about to happen. And this could be somebody from like your childhood or someone from like your community, your neighborhood, because the third house is here. So this is someone that you know. This is someone like in your... Mm, it could be like a close friend group. This is more of a close friend group. This would be like someone who, you know, they could feel like family. They could be around like that, that type of energy. All right. Um, is someone overly loud and irritating and aggressive with you. So they could be going through a difficult period right now with someone. It could be a conflict. Maybe they're walking away from someone. They're being, they're having some type of difficulty or they could be releasing, they could be healing some type of addiction, some type of toxic behaviors, some type of temptations or something like that. Like they're detaching, all right? They're in a detached mode right about now, um, but this is like detaching from pre previous behaviors. You know what I mean? Um, they could be detaching from a, a relationship as well. So let me go over the signs, okay? Let me go over the signs. Let me go over the signs. 
All right, they could be detaching from this situation as well. But anyway, let me go to sign. We got Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Capricorn, uh, Gemini again, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. So this is someone who might have walked away, no contest, all right? They want an acknowledgement though. This person wants respect, okay? Now, uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches is here and assess the situation is over top of that. So this person is feeling right about now. They feel like the worst of the situation is over. So now they're being analytical about how can they move forward? They're paying attention to the finer points, like the details of it, like what matters, maybe what they did, what you did, how this whole situation even came into play of what it was. Like this person is really breaking this down, okay? And so this person is starting to feel very optimistic. Then they could be feeling like, you know, socializing. They could be starting to think that they have other options, okay? It's saying trust the, it says spirit is telling you to trust the vibes you get. Someone is intruding on your energy with their negative energy. Your intuition doesn't lie. Trust it. So they felt like, oh, okay, I get it. They felt like you were the blame. That's what it is. This person feels like you were the blame. <laughs> and they felt like there was no healthy sense of boundaries. All right. It felt like you didn't respect their boundaries. That's what it is. They feel like you didn't respect their boundaries. That's how they're feeling right now. Like you didn't respect their boundaries. I see how this all happened, how this all played out. So they're looking at you as the reason. <laughs> I should have knew it. When I seen Virgo here, Virgo is always a person but like, it's their fault. <laughs> That's how this person feels. They feel like it was your fault. That's why we're not talking. It's your fault. <laughs> but they want to communicate though. All right. This person does want to communicate. This could be a person who takes short trips or like they're very like social, like jittery, talkative. They're a good talker. All right. Um, and this is a person who you've had interaction with, but the interaction could have been kind of, maybe the last interaction could have been a little bit uh, unwavering. Like maybe you both were like at an ego point or an impasse where you wanted to beat them, they wanted to beat you, or like you guys just couldn't meet the middle ground. Cause sometimes the opposition could be like, we can't meet a middle ground. Someone has to give a little, someone has to take a little and it has to go back and forth like that to make each person happy. So it had to be something like that and it may not happen. All right, but this person wants acknowledgement from you. All right. This could be a teacher or someone who's like an educator of some sort, because I'm seeing early education. And if it's not, let's say a teacher. This could just be somebody that you've known for a while. You know what I mean? That's all. All right. Um, they're probably very intelligent. So they are not going to express their emotions. They want to, but if they express their emotions, they're not going to really let you know the depth of what they have. So it could be like a proposal of some sort. And this could be business. You know, this could also be like, you know, emotional. Because it's the cups. So it's some type of feeling behind it. Like they're not quite sure if walking away from this is um, a win or a loss for them. Like that's where they're at. Like they're they're like wavering on that. Like if I leave this alone, is this a win or is this a loss? So they, so they love you because you got the king of cups here. So they love you. It says, I keep up with your business through mutual friends and family. So they, they probably friends with friends of yours, friends of family members, or even on social media. I would think social media, but it doesn't have to be. You know, this could just be like, uh, you know, friends and family, you know, you could be, they could be friends with your friends, but usually when people are friends with friends of like their exes or their old lovers or whatever, their love interests, it's usually on social media, you know what I mean? So it's probably that because we got third house here, which is a communication. So it could be something like that, or maybe they're friends with your friends through text or talk or something. I don't know, but you know, it's an age of Aquarius and we're into internet and technology. So I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be social media, but it could be anything. Um, this person is tapped in too, because we got crown chakra here a lot. We got crown chakra and it says people who are being led by spirit do not make any sense to those who are not. All right. So this person is a visionary. They have a lot of vision. They have a lot of insight. All right. They're just maybe having an issue healing from this situation. Like they're, they're kind of opposed to it because they're seeing themselves as a victim. They're seeing themselves as it's your fault. And so they want to attack. They want to like detach, but they're just like, all right. So you know what they have? They have like a level of obsession. That's what they're healing. This obsessive feeling like obsession could be codependency that they're healing because you, know, you got the lovers with the devil next to it. So they could be healing some type of codependency to try to cleanse maybe a relationship or try to cleanse, um, cleanse like a partnership or, or like integrate two parts of themselves. So they could be like detaching from smoking, drinking, sex, 
materialism, control problems, codependency. They're detoxing from something like that. They're breaking something. They're detaching from that. But they also kind of feel like, is this really the right thing to do? So their actions are going to be to come back in. So, okay, so this is what they're doing. They're trying to like clean themselves up. They're trying to heal. All right. But they're also in like a, in an internal conflict about like, do I even go back and approach her or him? Like, do I even, you know what I mean? Go back and like offer my love. So if they do come back in, cause it probably chance where they will, cause we have a knight of cups and knights are messengers. So more likely they will come in and they will contact you. Uh, they will probably propose something. Could be like a date. You know, a, a knight can be somebody who's very romantic. So it could be like a date. They, they let's know this, know this. This person has analyzed this very well. They thought about this very well. So just know that you know none of this is by accident. If they just pop up randomly, none of it would be by accident. This was thought out. They worked their way into this. So give them that credit. They did put some time and some effort into you. Okay, which is okay. You know what I mean? I don't know about the rest of the details of this. You know, I don't know who this is for. You know, but they're learning to be human. So they're learning. Oh, they're learning to be learning to be human in the world, but not of it. All right. So they're learning to be their own self, their own self. That's it. This person is feeling like they, they're, they're coming into being them own, their own self, authentic to who they are. All right. And they may be maybe lowering a boundary like, you know, maybe how they might have been like, um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Because if, if they're blaming you, they're probably a person who didn't want to like, like negotiate. You know what I mean? So that's probably that. So they're, they're probably going to like lower our boundary. You know what I mean? Like that's the goal is like to try to like ground this situation. It's Cause they want to like detach from it being maybe, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. It's, okay. So this could be, this could be two ways. All right. So let's look at that. So they could be detaching to try to like, uh, clean themselves up. So that way they can like get rid of like obsessive behaviors, get rid of like negative toxic patterns and all that stuff, release that. So that way they can offer you a new love, a brand new love, because you got the lovers with the with the Knight of Cups. That could be like a new version of love, a more deeper, intimate love. But it's like, because they got King Cups here too, so they're not going to really express how much they really love you, because they got a lot of love for you. But what they're going to offer you is love that is mature, but it's not love that is like unconditional. So it's love that I love you for as long as we're doing this, the the way that I kind of expect. Okay. So even though I don't have any wands here for expectations, that's kind of like what it is. You know what I mean? Like, that's where the, that's what that is. That's, that's what the, uh, the opposition is. It's like that. It's a push pull. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fix my negative behaviors and my patterns. But when I come back, <laughs> When I come back, you better have your act right because I'm going to offer you this love because I got a lot of love to give you, B. You know what I mean? They ain't calling you B for Beyonce either. All right? So know that. But when they come back, they want to give you this love and they got a whole lot of love behind it that they're not like expressing. So there's going to be some type of emotional manipulation because this person is able, they're like, they're going to be in a personal power of being able to control their emotions. And they may like, they're not going to express how much they care about you or how much they love you or how much this, that, and the third. They're not going to do that. They're not going to tell you how much they, they want to be involved with you in this case. They're not going to say that. But at the same time, this could be also somebody who's like married or divorced or like a cheating husband. So if it's like, you know, maybe if you're like, you're like a side piece or side girl, side dude, whatever, this is someone who's still going to come back and offer you some love, but they're going to have somebody in the pack I mean, somebody who's tucked around. Now, not everybody's going to have somebody who's in the cut. Not everybody, but some of us, they will have somebody who's in the cut, all right? But this person does want to offer you love. They want to offer you a, you know, a relationship that they feel is mature enough and that is fair to you and fair to them, you know what I mean? But Because maybe it was a sexual connection, because sometimes the devil with the lovers can be a sexual connection, because the lovers is an intimate card, very intimate. They're, they're naked, so that's very intimate. So, and it has... Uh, it has um, the energy of sexuality in it as well whenever you see nakedness so it's that but this person is kind of like they're conflicted about whether they should walk away from the situation because they're not sure if this would be in their best interest right now you know it's like they want to squash this situation that's what they want to do they want to squash this situation but I don't they're not quite sure how like you know like you know so spirit is saying trust it trust the vibe so whenever they come in if the vibe feels off trust that vibe trust that vibe Okay. 
Um, but yeah, that's really it. They want to lower their boundaries or they want you to lower your boundaries or like they're feeling like that. They feel like you didn't respect their boundaries or they're feeling like they didn't respect your boundaries or something about that. But like, they're like, they're trying to see it as like a mistake. Like, you know, I'm human. I messed up. Let me, you know, or you're human. You messed up. Let me, you know, let's, let's do this in a more authentic way to me. I want to be more authentic to who I am. So that's how they're going to try to flip this. All right. They're trying to seek some type of balance right now. That's currently what they're focused on and their psyche. All right. So they're looking at their shadow aspects too, and that's confronting them and they haven't really healed through it yet. They're struggling with it, but they are working towards it. You know, they're starting to get downloads. So there's like spirit is talking to this person. They're in their ear. They're letting them know like, Hey, get yourself together. She ain't with your shit. He ain't with your shit. So they like that. They're on that type of thing. All right. Yeah, but that's it. They'll, they'll come in. They're going to come in. All right. They're just kind of undecided right now. They're just flip floppy right now. So they're not, you know what I mean? It may not be right away, but guess what? We got major arcanas here. So major arcanas mean that when it comes in, this will be a pivotal moment. This will be something that you remember. All right. This will be a time and a period and place that you'll remember. All right. This could be in like, uh, well, I don't know, Gemini season. Maybe Gemini full moon. That could be Sagittarius season. Or Capricorn season, all right. So yeah, I don't know, but maybe for some of us. Oh, in Virgo season, I got Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, and Gemini season. So it could be that time. Could be around that time, all right. We do got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's not like in the major arcana, and it's not in my oracle. So technically, I don't read it like that. But if you want to stretch it, we could say Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio time. So. It could be happening like that around that time, all right? But they're they're diving into their mind right now. They're they're getting downloads from spirit, and so they they fluctuate between like leaving you alone and thinking that they have other opportunities out there, and at the same time, wanting to come back and heal the situation and offer you some love because there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of love, all right? But they're just not. They don't want to acknowledge that. <laughs> they don't want to acknowledge that, all right? So. Cause they're having an internal conflict. It's deep. It's very deep. Okay. So, uh, did I go over signs? This is, let me go over one more time just in case. So we got Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini, uh, Capricorn, Gemini, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. So if this wasn't necessarily a, um, a sexual connection, this could have also been like you know, a toxic connection of some sort where you guys were friends and you guys were indulging in negative patterns and behaviors and stuff like that. You know, they want to like, they, you know, there was like an energy of like wanting to either give like a treaty because like you guys haven't talked in a while. So they maybe want to offer like some type of peace treaty or some type of words that will mm, lessen, the, lessen the, the bitterness or lessen the the tension between you guys. So that's what this person wants to do. Okay. So pow three, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nuni and this Leo in the third house. Boom. Pow four. So pow four. How's this person feeling during no contact? Okay. Oh, they think you changed your number. It says, how dare you change your number? Question mark, exclamation. So they're upset about that. Or maybe you just don't talk to them. You know, well, it is a no contact. So, but you maybe change your number. You change your number, possibly. All right. But anyway, let's go over signs real quick. Taurus, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Now this person is frustrated with you. They are a little bit jealous of you as well. They want to take control of the situation. They want to bum rush you. But they're also in the energy of forgiving you. 
So that, I was just telling you what their actions were. They're probably not going to do anything though, but they want to take action. You know, but that don't, these cups aren't, I mean, these energies aren't, are, aren't of them doing anything. It's more of them like sitting, nurturing, woe is me. You know what I mean? Being in their feelings, being in their bag, trying to, uh, trying to rationalize how they feel. That's what they're going to be doing. All right. Uh, this person feels proud of them, of themselves, or they're proud of you. Because right? they feel like they've forgiven you. All right. They're in a mood of forgiving. You got forgiveness twice. And you have be peace, which is the dove spirit. So they're feeling peaceful about this situation. All right. Um, this could be a person who's multifaceted or has like a unique nature. They can have like different talents and skills. They can do a bunch of things at one time. This is someone who you were fated to meet because you got North Node here. So they feel like that about you. They feel like you were fated to meet them or that they were fated to meet you. They feel like you were on their soul's purpose or on their soul's journey, part of the destination they were supposed to be at. And so when adjustments are required here, this is a quincunx. So it's meaning that they felt like you guys were having two opposing needs or, or like you guys just couldn't meet in the middle like there was like you, you guys just couldn't really get each other there was an issue of getting each other you know and, and so they're feeling proud about that or maybe they're feeling proud they recognize that you guys just weren't getting each other or maybe they understand they're proud now they understand that they couldn't get you or you didn't get them it's something like that this is a unique type of person so that's what this is about like maybe they had unique needs maybe you got unique needs something like that and this is a person, oh, okay, so they feel like you need to love yourself first. That's what they feel like. They feel like you need to love yourself first. All right, it says, don't worry, you're not going crazy. Oh, this, okay. So they're feeling crazy. They felt like they were crazy. Like, 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 oh. Okay, so this person felt like you were meant to be in their life, like you were meant to be on their path, and they felt like they're crazy for even thinking this or feeling this way about you. All right. This person remembers that you're very beautiful and, and they used you as a confidence boost. So they used you as a confidence boost. They thought of you as very beautiful, very attractive, and you boosted their confidence. That's how they're feeling about you. And they want to forgive you. Either they want to forgive you or they want forgiveness. Probably both because we have forgive and forgiveness. So they probably want both. They probably want to forgive you and they want forgiveness. Now, I don't know if you did anything. So don't be mad at me saying, well, they don't need to forgive me. Well, they may not need to, but I'm just saying they want to forgive you. That's a Taurus thing for sure. And a Leo thing and a Sagittarius thing and an Aries thing and a Pisces thing. That is their thing. When <laughs> That is their thing. Cancers do that too. Dang. That is their thing. They do do that. We're like, all right, we're like, they're like, okay, I know that, you, that I did you some type of way, but I'm going to forgive you. What? we like, what? Forgive who? Me? For what? You did this. I don't care if you forgive me. So, you know, maybe, I don't know. But they're not even going to do anything right now. So it don't even matter. But they forgive you, okay? So if that matters, know that. They forgive you, okay? And they want you to forgive them, okay? They want peace here, but they're not having it right now. Like They, they feel like they're not getting their, meet, their needs met. Or it's too difficult to find a way to work this with you. Because a conjunct, a, con, a quincunx is a difficult aspect to reconcile like even, even if you do make some things work it, it's only for temporary you know it's like a sesqui a sesqui square where it's like even if you fix something it really you don't really fix it it's temporarily whatever relief you get is temporary so it's kind of like that type of energy it's like you know they feel like like you guys made some type of gain or some type of ground but it was only temporary that's what that is so it's a feeling like, oh yeah, we were we were moving forward in some type of progress, but then it stopped, or it wasn't going anywhere, or you know, it didn't do anything. Like so, whatever work we did, it felt like it was pointless. That's what they feel like. They feel like it was pointless. All right, they, but they wanted they, so. Oh, they feel like you're letting yourself be seen, and they're, and they're not at peace with that. So they're not happy with that. So they feel like, oh okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So you must be very attractive to them. All right, they see you as very attractive, obviously. All right, because. They feel like you're letting yourself be seen and they are not happy with that. All right. That's something they're not happy with. But they are putting on an image or a facade of being OK and being um, being uh, like happy They're putting on the airs of being happy and having it all together and having life going their way, you know, but really they are not. They are not feeling like they're able to get the love that they want or the offers that they want. Like they're not feeling super creative either. And they're feeling a little bit emotionally distraught. All right. Um, 
the actions though, if they do come in, they're going to be aggressive, you know, but I don't really feel like they're going to do that. I just feel like they're just angry from the sidelines and jealous and, you know, like letting their feelings get the best of them. Like they may even be like talking about you or speaking about you in a way that's um, distasteful. You know, that was a gentle way of saying, you know, calling you a bee or calling you a clown if you're a dude or whatever they call men these days, a dub or whatever. I don't know. She's calling you that, bro. <laughs> you know, but she's like, she's she's considering it too. She's thinking about it too, but she's not going to speak anything. She's like, you hurt her. You hurt her feelings. You hurt their feelings. You hurt his feelings. You know what I mean? Like their their feelings are hurt. And so they're thinking about that. And they're holding their they're holding their peace for that. They're not they forgive you. That's what they're working on. But they, you know what I mean? It's like they want to let this go. They want to like let you be free, let you fly, go be a bird, go be a whatever. <laughs> that's funny when I said that. Let you be a bird. That's what my mom always say when I was dating like dating certain women. She was like, Why do you keep bringing these birds around here? <laughs> mom, don't you see how fine she is? What are you just talking about? God dang, that's funny. But yeah, that's it. They, <laughs> I think they see you as a bird. Like they want to let you fly away. Like go ahead, I see you out there letting everybody see you. So they feel, they feel like you're getting all this attention. And they don't like that. They don't like that. All right, you know. But they are proud of you. You know, they want you to be proud of yourself. You know what I mean? And I think they're proud of themselves as well for acknowledging that you guys were having different needs or different. Like you guys weren't really the same. Because in, in conjunct means you guys aren't the same, but you're needing to find a common ground to to create some type of uh, what's it called? Find some cre some type of like not really a groundedness, but find some type of like relief or peace or like just even if it's for temporary, you know what I mean? It's so like just for you guys to get along for a little bit, you guys would have to like bend and fold and contort or be. Maybe gentler, quieter, louder, you know what I mean? Something. There was like a lot of work around for you guys to work it, but this was something that was faded. All right. You could have learned a lot really quick with this person, or they could have learned a lot really fast with you. Like, that's that feeling. They feel like they learned a lot, you know what I mean? So, because, you know, the North Node is here, and that is like life goals, life lessons, learning stuff, you know what I mean? So it's like that. Like, they feel like they learned a lot with you. You know, maybe they learn forgiveness, all right? But they feel like you're letting yourself be seen and they're not at peace with that. They're not, they don't like that. No good, pish posh, get that out of here. No moss, <laughs> like that type of stuff, all right? And they feel like, um, so this could be something worse, like a non-traditional job or a non-traditional, mm, is it a non-traditional job? You know, I always think about when I think of a hair fine, I think of it like a factory job sometimes, a government building, um, something large, you know, like a government, you know, or a state facility or something like that. They may work like a state facility or something. I don't know. But um, I just feel like they're going to spy on you. That's probably about it. They're going to probably spy on you. You know, they really haven't forgiven you, though. You know, they're like, that's, that's how they feel. How they feel is like, yeah, I'm forgiving you, but they really haven't forgiven you, though. You know, they're just putting on that air of being okay without you or being okay without the situation, like, without talking to you. So they're going to keep putting on that act of being okay and holding their feelings in and not expressing themselves, but just being angry and bitter on the sidelines. They're going to be very angry with you, all right? And they might want to punch your face off. I'm just playing. For you, if you're a guy, though, she might want to. But, I mean, I guess that's kind of sexist to say that it's okay for women to try and want to punch your face off, but not okay for men to want to punch your face off. It's not nice for anybody to hit anybody, but this person is angry, and they do want to be mad with you. They want to, I don't know, maybe they don't want to be violent, but they do want to wreck shop or, like, destroy stuff or, like, they, they're they aggressive. They have aggression that they want to, like, put somewhere. <laughs> so know that, but they're going to be holding it back, and they're going to be, like, just fuming, okay? This is almost like pile one, but they're not gonna they're not gonna say anything. They're not gonna do anything. They're just gonna watch you, look at you, you know what I mean? And on like a sneak tip, cause this isn't even like outwardly watching you. So they, they could have like a fake profile or like other pages or like, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're gonna watch you. That's it. They're not gonna say anything though. You know what I mean? This is a person who's intuitive too, cause we got the raven here. 
So this is a person who has the uh, ability to see beyond the veil. All right, but they feel like you need to love yourself first. Okay, so that way you can forgive. They feel like you're holding on to hurt. All right, they feel like yeah, they want forgiveness from you and they want you to forgive them. And you need to love yourself. It's not funny, but it is funny because they feel like you changed your number or you changed up. Probably it says, "How dare you change your number?" So, yeah, you might have blocked them or whatnot, whatever. They might block you back. Now that I'm thinking about it, they might block you back. So that might be that. It says, don't worry, you are not crazy. All the signs you see and acknowledge are from spirit saying they are with you, helping you. So yeah, they feel like spirit was leading them towards you or like spirit, spirit is leading them towards where they're meant to go with this situation. Like they feel like if this was part of their life's purpose or their soul's purpose that you guys would like meet up again. You know what I mean? But that's that's kind of how they're feeling about this situation right now. You know what I mean? But they feel like you changed your number or like they can't get in contact with you through phone or can't get in contact with you or something like that. So, you know, it could be that. All right, so let's go over signs one more time. We have Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. So, Pile 4, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Noonie, and this is Leo in the Third House.